Okay, hello. Hi there. I'm Dennis. Today, we're going to install Arch Linux on a Toshiba laptop. We're going to install it using only a Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to tell my bootloader to boot the CD-ROM. This Toshiba laptop does have USB ports, four of them. By all two O ports, but they're pretty wore out. Got, I would say, some abuse a little bit anyway. And so I put it on a CD. It's, it'll take a little longer to load because of that. It's still all right. I had to cut out a lot of this video. I'll go ahead and tell you now because autofocus thing on my camera. Apparently doesn't keep up with it. So I've had to cut some of it out, but I've, I've made sure that we've got the most important parts where we can see them. And I'll kind of keep you in track where we're at. This laptop was sold brand new January the 17th in 2011 with two gigabytes of RAM. It's got a two core, two thread processor, but it's only rated at 1700 megahertz. So what is that, 1.7 gigahertz? In 2011, it wasn't a slouch. It wasn't the best, but it was, it's not a slouch. But more importantly to me, it's got optical drive, it's USB ports, it's got an Ethernet card, a Wi-Fi card. It's a pretty decent laptop. It does not have a built-in web camera, and it, to me that makes it even better. As soon as we get started here, it's like I said, it's going to take it a little longer for two reasons. We're on a CD-ROM and I'm going to be using Wi-Fi. We're going to use Wi-Fi and get that installed. I got into my boot menu and I hit Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I hyphen menu and I hit enter and it brought up that quick screen you saw and that was my network i typed in my password now i've come back and i've pinged artslinux.org and you can see it was online so we're on wi-fi connection right now and i'm setting the time date ctl to set hyphen ntp space true hit enter I'm having a voice over this for the first time as well because I got through doing all the editing. There was no way to make the voice make sense. It was too chopped up. So it's, I'm going to be talking as I'm watching right along with you watching, I guess. So the next thing is to see if this to partition the disk. And I'm going to cut out of here because as you can see, it's blurry and it's going to get blurry and stay blurry. But I'm just going to do a simple partition, and I made three. SDA1, which is going to be swap, which I just turned on right there. SDA2 is going to be my root partition, and SDA3 is going to be the home partition. So I just made swap on SDA1. I turned the swap on, and now we're going to make a file system of a .ext4 on device SDA2. That will be our root partition. And I think I put right at 100 gigs on this, on SDA2. Now I just up arrow and backspace the 2 out and replace it with a 3 and hit enter. And this is a little bit larger, larger half of it, so it'll take another second or two longer. 599 dollars plus tax is what this laptop cost brand new. No one, I know the history of it, and I know who bought it. I guarantee you this was on sale. I'm sure this laptop was at least 20 to 25 percent higher. LSB OK shows us that we got SDA 1, 2, and 3, and they're formatted, but they're not mounted. I faded out, and I broke back in here, and we got mount device SDA 2 to mount, and we're going to make a directory of MNTHOME. For our 
home partition. We're going to mount that to the vice SDA3 to slash MNT slash home. Got everything mounted. We'll list the block devices again, and you'll see that SDA2 is mounted to slash MNT. SDA3 is mounted to slash MNT home. I think I'm fixing to install reflector. That would be Pac-Man space dash capital S Y, and then the word reflector. Hit enter. For you that may not know, Reflector is a software program that will reach out and collect and rank different mirrors and it'll collect those and put them in our Etsy or ETC slash Pac-Man D mirror list. That will give us the fastest mirrors available at right this minute. Okay, I'm going to hit enter to install it. And unfortunately something happens right here when I do run Reflector, you'll see that picture seems to fade out. I'm not sure why. It goes blank. I think because sometimes I'm using Caden Live to do my editing and sometimes when I right click on a clip, instead of opening up the menu, it'll just quickly do something and I have no idea what it's doing. Most of the time I hit undo and I just undo what it did, even though I don't know what it did. And this time I guess I must not have, and you'll see what I'm talking about here as soon as this big six page command gets through. So we got reflector, space, hyphen, hyphen, verbose, space, hyphen, hyphen, country, single quote, United States, end quote hyphen hyphen age 25 which indicates the amount and it's fading out now hyphen hyphen protocol space https space hyphen hyphen sort space rate hyphen hyphen save space slash etsy slash pacman dot d slash mirror list now we got a blackout but when i come back in at least we're in focus Okay, so I've just I've typed in Packstrap and run all those programs that we want, base, base Devel, Linux LTS, Linux firmware, Nano, etc. When I hit enter, it came back into focus, so that's where I picked up at. Now we're running the Packstrap command, which is going to get us our, you know, our programs, our base installation of Arch Linux installing them or it will install them onto our actual physical hard drive right now we're still in the in this case on the in ram or in memory from the cd okay so cut out most of that where it's almost through right here come back in it's almost through with the installation of the pack strap. So the next thing will be GNFS tab. And unfortunately, I clear the screen and it gets blurry again. But I catted it to find out if I had it. And I do. So I GNFS tab, you can see the command up there, dash capital U slash MNT, pipe, pipe. Chevron, Chevron, mount, at CFS tab. And then I catted that, pro that directory. And it's showing you here. So now it's time to arch to root into our hard drive. And we're there. You can see the command prompt line changed. So now we're onto our hard drive. And we got to set our local time. First one we run is ln space hyphen sf space slash user usr slash share slash zone info one word slash and in my case i'm in america slash chicago space slash etsy slash local time one word local time make sure that's spelled right hit enter and then we'll be setting the hardware clock
We'll do that by going HW, C-L-O-C-K, space, hyphen, hyphen, S-Y-S-T-O-H-C, space, hyphen, hyphen, U-T-C. Enter. Now it's time to do a little tweak. I like to see Pac-Man when he runs across the screen gobbling stuff up. So we're going to go into our Etsy pacman.conf file. Make that adjustment. And I'm going to uncomment color, which means remove the hash symbol there. Pound mark, remove that. I'm going to do that under total download. I'm going to create a space and I'm going to write or type capital I, capital L-O-V-E, capital C-A-N-D-Y. While we're here, we might as well go down, undo the multi-lib repositories. I'm going to also uncomment verbose package list, uncomment the multi-lib repositories. So that if you install a 32-bit software on your system, you'll be able to get updates through that multi-lib. That's what that is, 32-bit stuff. Got the tweak done. Now it's time to get back into the actual installation. So the first thing we're going to do is find our locale. So we go nano Etsy locale with an E dot G-E-N, find your language, in my case it's English U.S. Remember this because you'll fix and have to type it out again. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be typing English U.S. You'll be typing whatever you're doing. We're in Nano, so Control o to write it out, Enter to confirm. And you can see it blurred out, but after I got back into the command prompt, I typed in locale hyphen gen, one word, and now we're going to send that language equals English US, the one I just uncommented, or the one you'll uncomment, we're going to send that over to Etsy, locale, slash, Etsy, slash, locale, with an E, dot com, there we go. Now we're going to export that same language. Okay. Now I've already went through the nano Etsy slash HOSTS, the host file, and it was so blurry you couldn't see it, so I cut it out. We've come out of there, I'm back to the command prompt, and I typed in password for the root user. You can see we've got a new password for the root user. And now we're going to update or add a user and give him a password as well when we're finished. We're adding a lot of groups here. It's user add space hyphen M, lowercase m, space hyphen capital G, space and then you're going to list all the groups that you want to be included in so i skipped ahead right there just a second you can see them all and now to confirm that you got into those groups you're going to type groups and then your name and there you go so now dennis needs a password okay so it's been confirmed and he's got it new password now dennis needs the privilege to run pseudo commands such as pseudo pacman syy u to update or to install a program all right so i'm gonna go right under where it says root all, 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 and I'm going to type in my username, which in my case is Dennis. 
and we'll hit a space and capital A L L equals parentheses capital A L L in parentheses space capital A L L and hit enter. And I'm going to uncomment the line that says uncomment to allow members of the group wheel to execute any command. And my personal tweak here, you don't have to do this, is to let me do that without having to put a password every single time. Alright, so I had to clear the screen and now I'm just running a Pac-Man SYY to update. And our base installation is finished. We got to install Grub at this point. So we're going to install Grub by Pac-Man space hyphen capital S space G-R-U-B Grub. All right, so I cleared the screen. It got blurry, but it came back in after I ran grub hyphen install space dash dash target equals I386 hyphen PC space slash DEV slash SDA space tac tac recheck. That's hyphen hyphen recheck. It got finished with no errors reported. So now we're going to grub make config. So grub hyphen make config space O slash boot slash grub slash group cfg so i cleared the screen but what you see in here is when i when we got back to my prompt pac-man space hyphen s capital s this is all of my xorg stuff xorg xorg uh, drivers xorg app xorg x in it xorg uh, x kill and you can see, you can read there where it's everything you see coming in right there is XORG related. And I sure like keeping a running total when I'm seeing what's happening there. Just makes you allocate your time a little better, I think. Wish that was done by default. I'm not sure why it's not. Must be a logical reason. So we're about a little over 90% downloading on our XORG. Next thing is I'm going to install XFCE. It gets blurry again and I come back in just as I hit enter for the Pac-Man command. It'll be Pac-Man hyphen capital S and it'll be XFCE4, new word, XFCE4 hyphen goodies g-o-o-d-i-e-s xdg hyphen user u-s-e-e-r hyphen d-i-r-s and that puts the folders in your home directory such as documents pictures music templates etc videos okay so that's about three there I hit clear, and you can see there at the top there I'm getting the XFCE stuff. Before I get out of here and try to reboot into it, I did get also LightDM for my desktop manager. LightDM, LightDM GTK Greeter, LightDM GTK Greeter settings. So before we get out of here, I got to enable the LightDM and the network manager. When this is through here, my next command will be getting some of the stuff that we may or may not need for our Wi-Fi. If we don't need it, that's okay. It won't hurt anything by being there. They're all small programs, such as Dialog, WPA Supplicant, such as that. At that point, after we've enabled our services, we'll be able to reboot into our XFCE desktop. So this is on the install. This is our XFCE here, along with LightDM. We'll hit clear. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enable those services now. So system, CTL. Enable K 
capital N E T W O R K, capital M A N A G E R. You see, it created three sim links. Now we're going to do the same thing. Well, system CTL enable light DM dot service. Should get a single sim link here. So now I'm going to get some of the network tools, programs, what have you. Firefox, so I got a web browser immediately. And also Qubit Torrent for some reason. It's not too big. Firefox is pretty big. But Qubit Torrent's rather small. Okay, so the network stuff so far is going to be Dialog, D I A L O G, space I W, next space, W P A underscore supplicant. And I'm going to preface this with needed, so that just in case there's one of these tools we've already got. Like WPA Supplicant, I'm almost positive that came in with base to bell. So there's no need reinstalling it. So WPA underscore Supplicant. And then wireless, all one word, underscore tools. And net, N E T C T L, and in it, utils, I N E T U T I L S. Hit enter. Okay. So it's a 90 meg download. I'm pretty sure I'm fixing to cut out here. If I'm not, I'll have to have a blank spot in the recording, but I think I am. So I guess I'll keep talking, but I, I believe it. I'm fixing to cut out here, but if I don't, that's okay too. 2011, that's, a, that's nine years old, this laptop is, and like I said, in the family that it was bought in, they had four boys. A man, a wife, and four boys. So you know it got a little bit of uh, abuse. There, I, I did cut out. It went from 25 to 90%. So, yeah. That's okay. So we're almost through with that. As soon as we get through with this, I can... Exit, type in exit, E-X-I-T. I'm going to clear the screen so you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to tell you what I just did. I typed in E-X-I-T and hit enter. Then I typed in U-M-O-U-N-T space dash capital R space slash M-N-T and hit enter. And once that was cleared, I hit reboot. And now you see we're rebooting into our system. Grub, when it, as soon as it hit Grub, it just all blurred out. I took it out, and we're coming back into my login prompt right here. Sorry that you couldn't see, but you did see the box. It's trying to blur out even now. Okay, here we go. Now we're into our XFCE desktop. And you see up at the top there, we got our network applet. Let me get rid of that, and I'm going to left-click on it. And you won't see all this, but I'm going to left-click on it. I'm going to select my wireless network that it picked up. And I'm going to type in my password in that box. It just disappeared. And when I, as soon as I did that, it went online. And also, I still didn't get sound. For the sake of time, I didn't install the also stuff that I need for Pulse Audio or PayVu control, but I will. I just wanted to get through and get into the graphical environment. And that's it. This is it. Arts installed with XFCE on 
a nine-year-old Toshiba laptop using nothing but Wi-Fi.